Hey guys, it's Chef Char here and I'm back with another Chef Char's Creative Kitchen video and today I'm going to show you how to make some vegan stoner food. Okay, disclaimer, I'm not a stoner but this meal is like my go-to kind of thing. It tastes so good but it's really simple to make and I'm literally addicted to it and now I've got the family addicted to it. So. I'm gonna make it for you guys, and I'm telling you, I swear this is probably what stoners who are vegan eat. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, I got some vegan hot dogs here, and I have some vegan cheese, and I'll show you the cheese that I used. I used this cheese right here. See that? BioLife cheese. It's amazing. And the other good thing is that it's dairy, soy, gluten, lacto lactose, nut, and preservative free. So it doesn't have any soy in it. A lot of vegan products do, which I don't really mind. But this one does not. And it tastes awesome and it melts really well. Um, so I want to take this up a notch. And let me, let, me, let me tell you guys what it is, okay? I'm just going to tell you. It's tater tots, vegan hot dogs, and it's a vegan cheese. And then we got our secret sauce. I can't tell you what the sauce is. Secret sauce on top, okay? But I want to take it and try to elevate it a little bit. We're going to take it from stoner food to recreational uh, CBD oil user food, I guess. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to elevate it a little bit. So I'm just slicing um, up some onion. And then I'm going to toss that in the pan back here with some kale. Let me get this, this going, this oil going. We got some oil right here in the cast iron. The oil. So, to get our tater tots rocking. And I got some kale. Bam. Gloria. Oh, wait, glory. Not Gloria. Glory. I just felt like Gloria, but I had to make this kale. But it's, it's actually glory. She cool too, though. I like glory. Okay, so this is perishable, keep refrigerated. Did you wash it? It's been pre-washed. So, this has been pre-washed. We're just gonna go right ahead and turn this back pan on. And I have my own olive oil. I know the bottle looks kind of jacked up, but what I did was I took my olive oil and I added hot pepper flakes, hot pepper flakes in the bottom so that I have a flavor oil. And like I told you guys in my last video, this is the most easiest, simplest way to get like those delicious um, olive oils that cost a ton of money in the stores. Like one of our local Amish market sells them now and they're like $12.99 a bottle. And I'm like, what? No, I'm just going to buy the huge thing. I'm just going to buy a huge thing of olive oil and then I'm going to add whatever I want to add to it. So I added like two handfuls of kale to the pan with the oil and then I'm about to do like four cloves of garlic and some onions in there and we're just gonna let that go ahead and I'm just gonna slice these up they're not particularly small pieces who doesn't love garlic I don't mind garlic it ain't gotta be minced so just chopping it up pretty much a rough chop because I'm trying to take this dish to the next level. And I feel like kale is that next level thing. So, I don't know. Vegan kale, it just makes sense. So, I'm going to drop that lost a piece. I lost a piece of garlic. That's okay. And, bam, right in there. Now, I ain't going to do nothing special. Again, we're making stoner food. Or let me say, lazy food. So, basically, you hungry you lazy and you just whip it up and bam because sometimes like if you're not trying to be one of them super fancy vegans that just eats like walnut tree oil encrusted um hummus packed i don't know whatever that i just put a little bit of apple cider vinegar if you're not trying to be one of them kind of vegans sometimes you just want some like trashy vegan food this is what i call trashy vegan food tater tots Vegan cheese is some daggone vegan hot dogs. You don't get no more. You don't get no more hood than that right there. So, all right. 
turn this kale up a little bit because I had it turned down because I didn't want to be talking, running my mouth, and then poof, blow the kitchen up. So, <clears throat> I got my tater tots back here. They're not even fancy. They come in this big bag like this. You see this big bag? This big bag of tater tots. And it don't even cost you but like five bucks. So let me test this oil. It's almost there. Oil is not quite there yet. And then let me try one of these hot dogs. It's good. What else can I do to this? I don't know what else I can do to it. I got garlic back here. Kale. And a little bit of onion. And then nail. I'm going to kick it up a notch with some of my kick-ass, oh wait, let me get the camera, kick-ass karmic seasoning. So, this is an all-purpose seasoning. I mainly developed it to enhance our vegan cuisine because my family and I, we is some sometimey vegans and we're trying to be an all the time vegan. So, we'll go like months, I need a little bit more oil again, we'll go months eating vegan food and like we trying to stick to it forever. We trying to be forever time vegan. So, and this has a lot of great stuff in it. It got kelp salt and Himalayan pink salt and garlic powder and onion powder. And I'm telling you, the blend that I put together, it tastes good on everything. So when we wasn't around here faking like we was vegan, we was putting it on chicken and lamb and French fries. Oh, the first day that we put it on. Well, the first thing my family put it on was, believe it or not, pizza. They would not eat their pizza without some kick-ass on it. And my little, my little 14-year-old son even had nerve to say he wanted some kick-ass. I was like, hold up, I know that's the name, but then you're not allowed to say that, bruh. You can't be saying kick-ass. So. All right, tater tots is ready to go in here. I'm telling y'all, this is... This is delicious. And when I hit this with our with our secret secret sauce, I can't tell y'all the secret sauce. If I get, let me see this. If I get 150 subscribers by uh, mid-December, I'll give y'all the recipe to the, to the secret sauce. <laughs> mid, I said mid-December. So like December 15, 16-ish. If I, if I look up and I got 150-ish subscribers, that's going to be my gift to y'all for staying loyal and putting your friends on with my videos. I'm going to give y'all the recipe to the secret sauce. Now, I can't give y'all the recipe to the Carmen kick-ass seasoning. That's, that's part of my hustle. That's part of my hustle right there. So, you're going to have to buy that. Okay? You're going to have to buy that. As a matter of fact... I'm going to pin the link where you can go get it at. And you can also get some other stuff too. So let me show you because I don't care. I'm a, I'm a cold sell to y'all. I don't care because I'm hustling. Okay? I'm trying to make the dream work. What did I do? I think I turned. Did I turn the pin down? I did turn the pin down. Ooh. I'm talking and I turned the wrong side down. You see these um, tater tots just floating around in this oil? That's because I was running my mouth. Now let me show y'all what I'm shipping. Yes, I said shipping. These are vegan. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. These are vegan caramel apple. Caramel apple. You hear me? Caramel apple cookies. Oh my god, do you see this? This is coconut sugar caramel on top with pecans. And I see smoke behind me. Um <laughs> And pecans and a little bit of salsa. So it's like that salsa caramel thing. And then there's apples mixed in there. The Granny Smith. The good kind. The kind that you use for them, app, them apple pies. Yes. So, you already know. Alright, this is fine. Our kale is looking good. I'm, I turned the kale off already. Okay. And see, I'm trying to kick it up and make it a little bit healthy. Because I swear this was just like, I'm telling you, it was just trashy vegan food. It was just like, I'm tired, I'm home from work, I want something to eat, and I would just cook the um, tater tots in the air fryer or deep fry them like this, and then I would take and put the cheese on there, let the tater tots, let the tater tots do their work, right, melting up that cheese, because my vegan cheese melts, okay, and then once they did their work, did their part, and when you toss the hot dog, we're going to put the hot dogs in here. 
Y'all can. And then I would just put my secret sauce on there. Which back in the day, it wasn't no secret sauce. But I felt like if you want to make something, you should make it until it's perfected. Until it's the best thing ever. So, if you're going to make something and it's good, I'm going to need you to go ahead and make it great. So, even this recipe right here, take it, make it great. These are the jumbo vegan hot dogs. I cut up the whole pack because it's three of us eating from this. And when I tell you, this is like... This is so good that we love it. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. So, I had to cut up the whole pack for the fam. And these hot dogs, all we have to do is get them warm. Because they're vegan, they take on a different texture when you, um, like, sear the skin. And the pan's still hot, so I'm just going to toss them around. But when you, um, whoo, when I'm dropped in there, whoo, I got them back. Okay. So, you saw it dropping the oil. It was like, no, I'm taking this free hot bath. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So when the, the outside gets a little bit, like seared and stuff, you know how you, the regular hot dogs, if, if, if you haven't been a vegan your whole life, you know about them regular hot dogs. We cook them hot dogs till they bust, till the skin starts sizzling, and it sounds like the pig is coming back to life. That's how we cook them real hot dogs. These hot dogs, you can't cook these hot dogs like this. You just got to get these warm. You got to get them warm because it gets this weird rubbery texture on the outside. So do not think that you're about to come and cook this up like your regular everyday hot dog okay we not bringing um a pig back to life and i and i honestly encourage y'all to switch from that and try this anyways because it's good so if there's any vegan skeptics out there it's time to let that loose because as y'all can see i got a bunch of melanin and i'm eating vegan so we already gonna crush that stereotype right now we're gonna get on with this good vegan food for the whole family and the cool thing is is that I have my mom eating vegan now. Now she try the best she can. Sometimes she'd be like, uh, I had an egg white and this, and I and I had to remind her, Mom, Mom, where do egg white come from, Mom? Egg white's not vegan. And she's like, Oh, okay. I'm, after I get done with these eggs, I'm gonna toss them out. She's gonna kill me for, for telling that story. But she's been doing good. And I've been talking to her about vegan for years. And I've been we've been doing our halftime and vegan stuff for years. And it's no better time than right now to get up on your health, especially flu season coming, all kinds of other stuff, ways that you can get sick. And I'm not saying that vegan food is going to cure the coronavirus, but I am saying that the healthier you are, the better chance you have of surviving it and also not getting it. So, with that being said, I feel like everything starts with nutrition. And when you eat better, you feel better, you live longer. Um, you can enjoy more foods. So when you eat them, like, oh God, as, as I'm scooping out these hot oily tater tots, I'm going to tell you about eating more wholesome foods, but whatever, okay? Because I already told y'all this is stoner food. But when you eat that more wholesome food, you can eat a lot more. So when you're packing up on your whole grains and all that kind of stuff, you can eat so much more food and you feel full and you don't feel sluggish and tired afterwards. So... That's my little nutrition plug for this video as we finish making this food and eh, eh, this food. And I'm just hoping that my job don't try to drug test me after I call this stoner food because I swear I'm not on no drugs. I don't do no drugs. It's illegal here where I'm at. I don't be touching none of that stuff. I don't be hanging out with Day Day and them. I promise. I don't be doing none of that. I just be liking some cheap fast food type stuff sometimes. And the vegan options where I'm at is the Impossible Whopper, and that's it. Either that or you eating some french fries, which is which gets very boring. Because when me and my husband was doing vegan a few years ago, we had decided we was going to try all the vegan french fries for all the fast food restaurants. So when I tell you I've been french fried out, I am french fried out, okay? So, <laughs> and besides, I'm a chef, so, like, like I like good food, but not a lot impresses me by the way of restaurant food because, like, you don't feel, you don't taste the love. Somebody can make me something like this, like what I'm about to show y'all how to make. And I would love it, like, it was a freaking $50 plate. But if I get... A five dollar something something from the fast food or from a restaurant so I feel like y'all better do it because I'm paying you and you said 
this is what you're doing and I don't know it just better be really great so I'd rather have the generosity behind it the compassion behind it for somebody to say I made this for you or I was thinking of you so I made this or you know what I mean so that's where I like to place my value when it comes to food because when I put this little ghetto meal down on the table for my family they're gonna be all hyped and like oh thank you thank you honey or something like thank you mom this was so good so that's the reward of cooking at home we're gonna put some kick ass on these tater tots on these tater tots on these tater tots i'll never stop eating tater tots i grew up on them grew up on them babe you grew up on tater tots that's right i grew up on them too i ain't finna act bougie I'm going to do a magic trick for y'all, too. Y'all about to see. Y'all going to see a magic trick. I'm not joking. I'm going to show y'all a magic trick. You watch. I'm going to show y'all a magic trick. All right, I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. I'm going to show y'all a magic trick right now. All right, get this oil off. It's still very hot, but I'm going to get it off. All right, so I hit it. Oh, that's the wrong burner again. Mm. And I lived here for years, and I'm still turning off the wrong burner. So, get it with the kick ass. Watch this magic trick. See this? We got a paper towel under there for the grease. Bam! Bam! They in the pan now. This trash. Bam, trash it. So, what we're going to do right away is get this vegan cheese on top of here. Because we want this cheese to start acting like it's real. Start acting like it knows what it's doing. Now, come on, vegan cheese. Act like you came from a cow, mommy. Act like your mommy was a cow. And now I'm going to heat this, these hot dogs up. Once again, I got to get one. Because I can't. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Put a little kick ass on there. But it's good because, like, the garlic, the fresh garlic. Yes. Oh, my God. And I know my husband's scared right now, but I swear. It's not a lot of kale. It's not a lot. Mm. It's not a lot of kale. Just a little bit of kale. Just a little bit of kale. Not going to kill you. It's not going to kill you to eat a little bit of kale. All right. Bam. There it goes. Look at that. That looks so fancy. And we're going to put this right over top. Right over top the tater tots. Right over top the vegan cheese. I don't know why I'm getting so hyped as I see this come together. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't be no, no bougie vegan. You're going to like this. I'm telling you. All right, so here it is. Cheese is underneath. Don't be worrying about, oh, I can't see the cheese. So what? It's under there. Okay. Cheese is underneath. Now, now we're pulling out the secret sauce. The secret sauce. Get that little shake. And I'm going to do a little drizzle of the secret sauce over top. And I don't care if y'all call this ugly because guess what? I love some ugly, delicious food. It does not bother me. Look at that. Look at that. Don't bring this to Thanksgiving dinner. I'm telling you now. They're going to call the cops on you. You're going to go to jail. You're going to at least get like, <laughs> you're going to get at least 10 to life. Okay. Don't bring this to, do not make this for Thanksgiving. Do, hold on. Let me get in this camera. Do not make this right here for, for Thanksgiving. Don't make this for Thanksgiving. Okay. You make this. The, the night after, you make this when you and your cousins go take that walk, and y'all know what I'm talking about. When y'all come back from that walk, then you make that. Then you make that, and you're going to blow their mind. They're not going to understand what's going on. So I'm going to show you one more time. Bam. Bam. Tater tots with the kick ass. Vegan hot dogs with some kale, onion, and some fresh garlic. Okay? Little bit of apple cider vinegar and some vegan cheese is under there just serenading them tater tots and we about to go eat dinner so promise y'all a video deliver wanted to show you one of our favorites go try it you will not be sorry it's gonna bring you back to your childhood slash your adulthood slash if you're a stoner you're gonna be you're gonna be stoned all right so that's it for chef Charles creative kitchen Go try this little simple meal and tell me what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the little belly thing so you'll be here again when I make something else. I'm out.